starting today. Greenville County High School students have the option to go back to in-person learning five days a week. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell is live tonight. So Ann, safe to say nobody is happier about this than the governor. That's right. The governor has been pushing for this option to be available since last year, but right now it's not clear how many high schoolers are going to actually choose to go back to school five days a week. With the loud school capacity increasing, the plexiglass dividers are out of Greenville County High School classrooms. We've done that to get ready for a possible uh, increase in the number of high school students. The move comes after Governor McMaster signed a bill into law that requires all school districts across the state to offer an option for five day a week in person learning. 10th grader Isabella Rose says she and most people she knows will stay on the four day a week in person option that's offered now. Uh, the work is pretty easy, for me at least, and I like it. <laughs> it's not yet clear how many high schoolers plan to go back five days a week. Anecdotally, I can tell you that our high school principals haven't seen that many more students in the classroom today than they were when everybody was on the 75% plan. Rowe says she thinks only about one in five people she knows will go back five days a week. A lot of kids are used to it, so they're going to stay with it, you know. I feel like most of the parents are making the kids come back if they are doing the five day a week schedule. Adding more desks in the classrooms mean they're set just three feet apart, putting Greenville County High Schools outside of CDC guidance, which recommends that areas with a high rate of COVID-19, like Greenville County, maintain six feet of social distance. But I was told today from a couple of principals, there are still a couple of empty desks uh, in classrooms throughout the district. District spokesperson Tim Waller says there is a concern about an increase in quarantines without the plexiglass. But with masks still required and three feet between desks, Rose says she still feels protected. And that school district spokesperson says we should have a better idea tomorrow how many high schoolers are actually opting for this five day a week in person option. Live in Greenville, Ann Maxwell, 7 News. All right, and thank you. By the way, younger students in Greenville County have had a five day a week in person option for a while now.